Hello everyone, this is Amir Net with my buddy May, and we have a new week and a new visual. And this time it's a globe map. Let's see what we can do with a globe map. Well, before we start, let's understand the data we have here. This is travel data, actually modeled based on the actual travel information for Microsoft employees. When Microsoft employees are traveling the world, they are buying tickets at the Microsoft travel department. And all the data has been made available to us. We made a few changes for obvious reasons, but uh, I think we can learn a lot about Microsoft tra employees' travel habits. So we'll start by dragging the uh, air ticket amount in, and we're going to see the total spend of Microsoft employees on, air, uh, on tickets, and we're going to break it down by the destination. And when we do that, we get a nice chart. We can make it maybe horizontal. We can see pretty obviously here that uh, Seattle, Seattle is the dominant place for Microsoft employees to travel to, and then London. But of course, wh why is it Seattle? Well, it's it's obvious. Microsoft is headquartered in a suburb of Seattle, so we all traveled uh, to Seattle here on a regular basis, all employees. And that's one way to look at the data. Of course, we can have other ways to look at the data, maybe use the map control, map visualization. That's how it looks like. And you've seen it before, you probably all used it. And that's a typical map visualization with the circles indicating the size of the, of the measure here. But there's another option. And this one is the globe map. And you can see here the globe map, it's showing up here. You download it from the Power BI visual gallery. And when I click on it, it changes. Instead of showing me a 2D map, I get a 3D map with a bar instead of circles indicating the size of the measure. Uh, very, very easy to navigate. You can rotate it around. You can see, you know, obviously here the Seattle, you see good traffic into London as well. Very, very nice. Very easy, just complete, com completely compatible with the, with the regular map that you have, except one thing. Notice the following. I can actually add more information. Let's go and take a look here. I'm going to add the cost per mile. See, we're going to see what is per mile travel, what is the most expensive place to travel to, and I'm adding it, and you can see that when I do that, it is actually adding it as a heat map. So overlaid on top of the bars, you can see here that it's very, very expensive per mile to travel either to the area of New York, New Jersey, and the area of Chicago. And as I travel the globe, we can see flying to Europe and certain places in Europe is the most expensive. If you're wondering what is the most expensive place to travel to, well, we're going to see it, I can go in here, and add the uh, cost per mile into the map. And I'm going to break it down again by the country and city here. And again, change it to this kind of horizontal bar chart. And when I do that, I can see that the most expensive place to travel to is Monte Carlo. And that's the nice thing about now about the globe map is it's still participating in the cross highlighting. When I click on Monte Carlo, you can see it immediately zooms the map to Monte Carlo. And I, if I want to go see uh, what's happening in Japan, I click on Japan, I can see how the globe automatically rotates me and show me where the location is. It's really, really nice. And it's generally what it does, it is, it's using uh, the, the center of gravity of those locations. So if I'm looking at, uh, at the Monte Carlo, and then I'm adding, for example, Limoges in France, and you can see how the globe is slightly rotating. If I'm going to add here, let's add here the United Kingdom location. See, again, it's rotating. You can take a look at the various sizes of the bars. Really, really nice. If you guys are wondering why Monte Carlo is so expensive, well, let me show you the real data here that Microsoft employees are travel. These are the itineraries uh, that we have traveled to Monte Carlo. I can just add them here. Itinerary, the number of air miles, the air ticket amount, and the cost per mile. And when you see that, I'm going to zoom it in. You can see that dominating the travel to uh, Monaco is the itinerary from Nice to MCM, Monaco Airport. And this is actually just 14 miles away. So what happened is, for some reason, uh, actually a legitimate reason, some Microsoft employees, I'm going to show you the carrier that they use. They actually use here the Heli Air Monaco. They use a helicopter ride from Nice to Monaco, 14 miles away. And you can now imagine that the cost per mile here has skyrocketed, making Monte Carlo on a per mile basis the most expensive destination for Microsoft employees. Real story, real wonderful visual. This is the Globe Map. Enjoy.